Hey there, it's Kaylee, and this lesson is on dividing decimals. Let's get started. When we're dividing decimals, the first thing we do is take our expression and write it in standard form. So 7.2 divided by 1.2 in standard form looks like 1.2 goes into 7.2. The second step is we're going to move our decimal place over on our divisor until this becomes a whole number, meaning it's not a decimal anymore. So in this case, we need to move it over one place. But we have to do the same thing for our dividend. So we take our point and we're moving it over one because that's why we moved it over here. And I'm going to take this decimal point and I'm going to put it right up here. And that's my placeholder so I know that my answer is going to have a decimal point when I'm dividing into the two. So now it says 12 goes into 72 how many times? Now if you know your fact families for 12, you know that 12 times 6 is 72. So that means I know that... 12 goes into 72 six times. And since my decimal place is there, that was a zero. 12 times six is 72. When I subtract that, I get a zero. I bring down my other zero. 12 goes into zero, zero times. So my answer is six right there. Nice work. Let's try another one. So with this one, again, my first step is to rewrite this expression in standard form. So I go one, Point five goes into six point six. How many times? So now my second step, I'm going to move that decimal place so that my divisor becomes a whole number. So now that's a 15. I have to move it the same distance over here. So that becomes 66. I'm going to put my decimal up on the top. So now I'm dividing uh, 66 by 15. So how many times does 15 go into 66? Well, I know 15 goes into 60 four times. So I'm going to put a four up here. Four times 15 is 60. I do my subtraction. I get a six down here. I have a zero there. I can bring that down. And now I'm going to say, how many times does 15 go into 60? Well, I just did that one here, so that's also a four. Four times 15 is 60. I get a zero there. And then I know 15 goes into zero, zero times. So my answer is 4.4, which is right there. Nice work. Let's do one more together, and then you get to try them on your own. All right, so this last one, what's that first step? Write it in standard form. So 0.2. Goes into 4.6. How many times? Let's make it easy on us. We're going to make these whole numbers. I'm moving my decimal place over 1. So I have to move it over 1 here as well. Make my little marker up here. How many times does 2 go into 46? I like that much better. So we know 2 goes into 4. 2 times. 2 times. 2 is 4. I subtract that, I get a zero. I'm bringing my six down. Two goes into six three times. Three times two is six. Subtracting that, I get a zero. Two goes into zero, zero times. So my answer is 23 right there. So now you kind of get the hang of it there. The first thing we do is we write it in standard form, make it easy on us. Second thing we do is we move that decimal over on our divisor until this becomes a whole number. So that means the last thing you see is the decimal point. And if you have to move it over one time on the divisor, you move it over one time on the dividend. But if you had to move it over two times on the divisor, say it was over here, and I had to move it two times over, then over here I'd have to move it two times over, and now I'd be dividing into 460. So make sure you move both the decimals on your divisor and your dividend, and then you go ahead and divide like normal. Great work. So keep practicing, practicing this by playing the online games and doing the quizzes. And remember to always be clever. Hey, hey.